You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Find for me, okay? I thank God for today. I want to see you later today. Yes, 3 p.m. is okay. It has to do with my will. I want to make some changes. It's very important.
Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetheart. Baby, there's fire on the mountain. What is the problem? There's a development in the meeting I had with Oga. In the city, changes making in his wheels in favor of a marriage. What? Oh my God. What am I supposed to do now? What should I do? Come to the usual place. Let's discuss it. Are you there? Are you there now? Of course. Red hot ready. Waiting to receive my queen. Baby, be serious now. It's my life we're talking about here. Okay, of course. I'm already thinking of a way out of this problem. But your presence will give me inspiration. <sighs> okay. I'll come and meet you now. How did this happen? I thought you were, you were in control now. Eh? Okay, I'll meet you. I'll meet you now. Sign both documents without knowing. That's brilliant. <laughs> You're a wizard. Of course, I'm a wizard. <laughs> as far as you are involved, my brain gets into genius mood just to get solution. So, what you're telling me is that I'm covered. Of course. It's my future we're talking about here. The future is guaranteed. You sound so nice. I will do whatsoever you want. I will protect you. I will make you happy. Hmm? You know what? I missed you so much. Why are you sounding like you haven't seen me in a month? It's only been a week. When you're in love, like I am right now, hmm. time flies. Are you in love? Of course. Come on. Look into my eyes. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Nothing. Okay. What do you see? Still nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll do anything to make you happy. I can see that. You know you look so beautiful. You told before. For all your support. Oh, I'll do Daddy, Daddy, do you trust Mr. Lawrence, your lawyer? Yes, I do. Why? I saw him in my dream. He and Mommy came into the room to do something bad to you. Mommy was angry with you. And Barrister Lawrence was blaming you. You were begging them, but they didn't listen to you. I woke up before they could do something bad to you. It was so real, Daddy. It was real. Lawrence has been my lawyer for seven years. I have every reason to trust him. I think it was just a dream. 
Maybe it will so be you. Awful things happen to very good people. Pastor Lawrence was a very good man. Oh. Yes, my yeah was a good man. He didn't deserve such a violent death. Unless his hands were not so clean. Of course his hands were clean. You seem so sure that is there something you know about his death that I should know? How? Why? The way you sound and the way you're crying. Barrister Lawrence was your lawyer for seven years. He was practically family. He was a brother to you. Why shouldn't I cry? Yes, I agree. A girl that lived with you for 16 years shouldn't be an outcast. You see, that is the problem I have with you. Every discussion we have in this house has to do with Amarachi. We cannot have a discussion, any discussion in this house without you mentioning Amarachi. Have you even asked after your children? Do you, have you asked after Chidima and the brother Junior? No, but you must mention Amarachi. Please, I have work to do. By the way, lawyer's burial is on Friday. That we play it. Hey, is this how to play it? Yes. Junior, you have started the game. Junior, what is it? See, cheating. No, you see that it's cheating. Okay, it's okay. Mm. Let me teach you how to play the game, okay? Just watch me. Put this one here. Yeah. Junior, go. Junior, go. What are you doing there? They should have had their bad by now. They have to go to school in the morning. Oh yeah, take them upstairs quickly. Quickly, quickly. Hello, darling. Hello. Have you had something to eat? Hello, darling. 
Darling. Andy. 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 Darling. Andy. Is this a joke? Andy. Clement! Clement! Come on! Okay. Darling. This is not for you. Darling. Okay. Okay. Let me go. Shake him and see if it's... Okay. 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 Try to wake him. Okay. Okay. Huh. Andy. Darling. Dr. Diago. Oh. Hello? Yes, doctor, uh, it's me. Um, can you come to my house now, please? I don't know, I don't know. He's not... He's not talking to me. I'm not sure. Can you come now? Oh, okay, okay. Oga? Oga? Andy. Oga? Um, Andy, can, can we take him inside? We have to... Hi! Are you doing an hotel? Andy. Um, the doctor is coming. He'll be alright. Hey! 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 Don't don't he's taking it inside. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. I think he's just let's darling. Darling. Is there any elderly man around here? Someone I can talk to yeah, in family? There's no, none of his relatives. But if you can talk to me, any, you, if you need us to take him back to the hospital, I'll just call Clement. Call Clement. He's dead. Huh? He's dead. I 
Sister, talk to me. I'm listening. My plan was to give you some substantial amount of money to arrange yourself. Alex, you are my only brother. And I'm not happy to see that you have no job, no business, no wife at your age. Sister, what's all this now? Huh? It's not my fault now. Huh? You know how much I've tried now. What have you been going through? What have you been going through? Sister, is it because of the small amount of money you gave to me the other time? How much do you have in your name? Five million naira is small money to you? Sister, I'm a big boy. Don't let me slap I will slap you. Are you stupid? Sister, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you upset. My point is, I would not be able to do as much as I thought I would do for you. Because the way things are going, I do not know what to expect. What do you mean I don't... There's problem on ground. Were you not listening to me? What's the problem? Before my husband died, he made some changes in the will to favor Amarachi. I don't even know to what extent. I don't want to make you promises I might not keep. Uh, sister, that's not a problem now. Huh? Uh. Yes. I mean, the dead make a will. The living is there to change it to their own will. Sister, why are you talking like this it, now? It sounds very easy to you. <laughs> you see that girl? I know that I hate her guts. But I also know that she's a very smart girl. If I make one mistake, I'm finished. Sister, this is not you talking. Sister, for Christ's sake, your husband is dead. Mm -hmm. You are in charge now. I mean, we can't allow that little rat spoil my chances of traveling back to America. The one you went to before, what did you achieve? That one was in the past now, eh? You relocated to America. Okay, so what do we do now? That's why I'm here, sister. Listen, all I want from you is just give me a little chance, okay? Uh -huh, to do then what? Then I'll fix things. How? Just give me this time, okay? By this time next week, we will fix this. Okay? Why don't we do it now? She's in the week, you haven't let her go. Yeah, that's a better one now. They won't do it like that. Amarachi! Amarachi! Yes, Mom. Sit down. As you can see, your supporter is no more. Your protector. He's gone. And you had a hand in his death. Mom, stop saying this. I am not part of daddy's shut death. Up. Come on, shut up before I, I, I give you one dirty slap. In clear and simple terms, we do not want you in this house anymore. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to give you some money to go and find your destiny somewhere else. Luckily for you, the motherless baby's home where we adopted you from is still open and functional. Uh -huh. So pack your things and go back there. I'm giving you 500,000 Naira check. That should be more than enough for you. Do you understand? Did you hear her? She's giving you 500,000 Naira. And that nice. I mean, if I were you, I would start dancing to my madam's delight. Mom, mom, this is my father's house. Yes. And I promise that I am not going anywhere. No matter what. In Apuala. So my answer is no. In Apuala. Am I negotiating with you? Am I asking your opinion? I'm giving you instructions. Go in there, pack your things, and get out of here. I am not going anywhere. Come, 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 come. Give me the phone. No matter the intimidation you people give to me in this house, I will never break the promise I made to my father. Are you stupid? Are you mad? You have, you have the courts to talk about. Who were you talking to? Him or myself? This is just the beginning. I told you. You bought it for her, Jerry. You sister, like you're it. not using this thing. Mommy, of course I'm using something better. You like it. Uh, no, I forgive you before. <laughs> uh. Uh, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's 
okay. It's okay. All right, hey, sit. I don't know. So tell me, what do I get for you? Ah, uh, you see, I got so many people working for me here. I got cook, I got chef, I got servants. Name them. All in this house? Yeah. I mean, I got lots of them working for me. To prove that to you, I'll call one for you to serve you. Um, Amarachi! Amarachi! Oh, the servants, that's how they give me the... Are you kidding me? What did you just call Auntie, me? Good afternoon. Hey, hey, sh shut up. What did you just call me? Uncle. Uncle. Can you imagine? One of my servants. Me, uncle. Listen, the next time I will call you or talk to you again, you answer me, sir. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Stupid thing. Um, ask my love here what you get for her. Until... That's my love you're talking to, okay? Whenever she talks to you, you reply, yes, ma. Did you get that? Ma, what do I offer you? Get me water. Okay, ma. Hey, hey, hey. Are you mad? Sir. I mean, where did I pick you up from? So, she asked you to get water. And you're running in there to go get water. Why didn't you tell my love that we have wet, we have head spade, we have... With all the drinks in my fridge, you want to get my love water? Uncle, if she asked for water... I said, sir. Sir? Sorry. Ma, we have more wet. We have Andre. I kept me more wet. Till your wet is okay. Ah, go get my love, eh? Come back here. What's wrong with you? Listen, and whenever she wants to talk to you, you go down on your knees and talk to her. So go down on your knees right now. Auntie, thank you, man. Ah! Madam, thank you. Madam, thank you. So welcome, ma. Sorry, ma. See, you're beautiful, ma. Madam, you're beautiful. No, shh. Get out! I mean, these servants, they keep bothering me every time. Uncle, I'm not a servant! I am not! Oh! You're not a servant? Okay, fine. Who are you? Uncle, I'm not a servant! Do you know your mother? Do you have a father? And you said you're not a servant. I am not a servant, uncle. I am not. I'm not a servant, uncle. Come on, get out of here and get my love. I'm not a servant. I'm not a servant. I am not. Look at, look at this, this slave that I picked from the gutters. I mean, who do you say this girl is? I mean, one of my servants. Are you sure this girl is your servant? Yes. And she's talking back to you in this manner? Excuse me. I'm what? Suspect. No, no. Are you sure this guy is not your girlfriend? How could you say a thing like that? Yes. Are you kidding me? That's that thing. How can your maid talk to you this way? Oh, come on, leave her. That's that. I'm being so nice to them. Okay. You see, this is how big boys roll. Okay. No, I know when women re the way women react when they see their fellow women come into their guy's house. The way she's reacting, I don't like it. I mean, look at you. Reacted, was so... no, 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 no. A queen like you, and I'll go for that thing. Come on, now. I'm too big for that, huh? You see, these are how big boys roll. You know that, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's my love. Huh? I'm worried my servant will soon get to you. Moet, right? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Udoka, this is just the beginning. Look at her, thief. You've just been here for only one hour. But we'll be here till six o'clock until you provide my money. You stole my two thousand and you're expecting me to just allow you go scot free. You this thief. Provide my money, Udoka, where is my money? Udoka, where is my money? Thief! And I swear, I swear to God I did not take your money. I would never steal anything from me. I swear. So you are calling me a liar? In my own house, with my own money? Eh? 
Betty, are you seeing her? She's calling me a liar. Eh? This thief. Kate, calm down. You can sort this thing out later. Hmm. Let it go. Hmm. This thief. You must provide my money today. I'm not going to leave her. Come. Did you take your auntie's money from my bedroom? Auntie, I swear to God, I did not steal my auntie's money. I swear. I would never steal anything from her. No, no, she. Tell me the truth. Are you sure? Auntie, I swear her bedroom was even locked. She doesn't let me get inside. I swear I did not steal her money. Kate. Betty. Please, let her go. Betty. This criminal will sort it out. I promise. Let her go. Stand up. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out from this place. Get out. Hmm. Betsy. I'm warning you all. Every time you'll be supporting this girl, supporting this girl. Eh? Do you know what this girl is doing? You want her to collect my home from me. You know I'm always on your side. Hmm. This time you're not on my side though. You are not on my side at all because you want this small girl to come here and, and, and take over my home. Eh? Betsy, have you seen what this girl is carrying? Uh -uh. Eh? Front, eh? Back, everything. Calm down. Until she steals my husband from me. I mean, why are you treating her like that? Betty, I beg, please carry your bag and start going. But keep my lace for me. That's all I want. Be going. Okay, you're chasing me out of your house now, eh? I will go and I will carry the lace along. Betsy, <laughs> leave the lace. Don't go with the lace. Drop I it. I know you. Uh -uh. Well, you should be supporting me. I'm your friend now. I am supporting you. I'm always on your side. Huh? How many lace did you even bring, Seth? I'll still deal with that girl. Amarachi. Amarachi. Uncle. Amarachi. Uncle. Are you mad? Why are you calling uncle? Who is your uncle? Huh? Do I look like the brother of a mad woman? And listen, next time I call you, eh? You run down like a mad dog because you're a daughter of a mad woman. Come on, get me my food. Chakoma. Look how the cabbage flew. Your food is on the dining room. Oh, Jesus. I can now see that you are really mad. It runs in your blood. Huh? No, now I see that my in-law has spoiled you so much. That you're calling me to come and eat at the dining table. Come on, go and bring that food here. If I slap you, if I slap you, you turn red. Come on, Nidam. I tell me, come. On. You don't have respect for elders, Abi. You're giving me food standing, and you will need that there till I finish it. You look at me. You don't have respect for elders. I hope this food you cooked is tasty. Yes. yes. Better be. Why are you squeezing your face? I, come on, smile. 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 Come on, smile. I'm smiling. Idiot. Mad girl. Oh, so you want to kill me, Abby? Oh, eh? Oh, 
My boyfriend jilted me. I can't live with the shame. Goodbye, everybody.
no good night. I was hiding. I didn't know it was you. Am I hiding from who? What is happening? They want to kill me. I just managed to escape. And you, what are you doing here? Where are you up to by this time? My madam chased me out of the house. She said I stole her money, but I swear I didn't do anything like that. Jesus! Where are you going to now? I'm going to the shop. I want to sleep there. I, I have this bag. Let's go together. Hey, yeah, thank God. <laughs> it has been hell for me since that criminal Alice came to the house. I'm just glad you escaped. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. You and I know that I don't have anywhere to go. And at his stands now, they would do anything to silence me. If we had money, we'd have run away. Just go somewhere, start, start all over again. I'm tired of living like this. This bondage is no just... No way. We are not going anywhere. I am not running away from anybody. I will report the matter to the police. The police? Are you sure they listen to you, Amara? Of course they will listen to me. They are there to protect vulnerable people like me. When I tell them the story and table and evidence to them, I'm sure they will do something. Okay, maybe I'll go with you. I heard that if you're adopted and you're being treated bad, you can report to the police. I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of being treated like a slave, Amara. It's okay. We'll go together tomorrow, okay? Look, let's just try and get some sleep, okay? It's almost daybreak. Okay, let me remove the set then. Okay. Let me just arrange something for us, okay? Okay. Darkness looms upon this land. Wish I could hide away my wretchedness from this life. The devil's singing. The young lady. Hello. Don't you remember me? I'm Paris Sophie, your family lawyer. Are you okay? Don't you remember me? I've been to your house once and I was also there at your father's burial. Oh, sir, I remember now. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Where is your mom? What's going on? Why are you like this? So everything is not fine. I can see. So what's the matter? Can I trust you? Come on, I said I'm your father's new lawyer. Therefore, I'm your family lawyer. If you, can, if you don't trust me, who will you trust? Sir, a lot has happened. As you can see, I am on the run. <gasps> How? Sir, my friend's life is in danger. We were heading to the police station to report to the police. Really? What's going on? Sir, it's not what we can discuss here. I'm so scared. In that case, let's go into my car and get to my office so that we can discuss this. Is that okay? Please. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Break me, break me, no, you cannot break me. Oh, your evil ways can never shake me dry. Today is Barrister Emos Ige, my legal colleague, and also will stand in as a witness on my side. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get to the business of today. Here with me is a will of your late husband, as deposited by him before he died. 
straight from the bank as it was delivered to me. We've gone over all this before. Well, madam, I didn't write this will, as you know. So if the person is dead, we have to resurrect the body to be able to, to read the will? But Amarachi is not dead. Oh, well, she doesn't want to partake. Are we going to force her to be a part of this? All right, let's just be sure about that. I don't understand. Read this will now. You're wasting our time here. There is no need for the argument. Amarachi is here, flesh and blood. What is she doing here? What is this thief doing here? Mom, 